Good morning. Today is a new day. Brand new outfit. Ooh. Special for the Belfry. I was going to wear it yesterday, but just thought, no, nah, I'll save it for day two. Anyway. <sighs> yesterday. Sorry about the lack of filming. Certainly golf filming. Lack of updates. It was very special out there. Brabazon is a beautiful course. <clears throat> and I don't think you'll find a course in better condition this year with the summer we've had. How they've kept it so green is just incredible. And the greens were rolling beautifully. Made it tough. You couldn't play aggressive with your putts. If you did and you were offline, you were 15 foot, 20 foot gone. <clears throat> anyway, PJ National today. I am five shots off the lead. That can go in a, in a, in a minuscule minute. <clears throat> Literally one hole, that could be gone. I'm fifth, tied fifth. There's just four people ahead of me. Ollie, Carl, Stu. It's cool how it's all the vloggers, all the people in the vloggers, that's a nice touch. Um, just making my way to the range, got 45 minutes. Sort out the prizes this morning, so that'll be good. I'll try and do as much as I can today, but like I say, it's tough when you're trying to concentrate and do bits and pieces and sort of also keep up the pace of play. Just becomes, um, well, it's just a lot to do. Still, I'll see what I can do for you, and hopefully, the boys will be up for a little bit of filming. Um, it's busy out here this morning. So yeah, see you in a bit. Just thought I'd show you quick the uh, putting green. Pretty cool, isn't it? The other courses, oh, that looks nice today, doesn't it? Don't they look nice? Brabazon, what a very special course. Very special. So yeah, certainly in the mix still. Certainly in the mix. Let's hope. Just keep it together really. Oh, I'll tell you about my round yesterday. So I started off pretty well and I was sort of but I was scrambling well, so it's never a good sign. You're not playing well if you're scrambling well. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, sort of all went wrong on that par three. I think I filmed the tee shots and then my first one went a bit right and then my provisional went in the water. I found my first one in the water, but it was at an angle that was just not good at all. Um, I had to take a drop, I had to go back 90 yards the wrong direction and take a drop. And um, I sort of play over a tall tree. It didn't make it over the tall tree, it bounced back to me. I then had to just, had no shot, I had to clip over a ditch, which I topped and hit the top of the ditch but it stayed up. I was like, nice. I can sort of bump something through from there. Got round to it. It wasn't even near the ball. It started rolling down the hill into the ditch. Then I had to go back the other side of the ditch, take a drop. So that's like one in the water, two drop, three into the tree, four over the ditch, rolled in, five drop. Then I played a really good chip shot through the trees, which looped out of a sprinkler head. Like literally, whoop. Off it went, up the top of the green. And then I made an excellent two putt. Really was a good two putt for an eight. Um, but on a par three, that's a round killer right there. I was sort of shooting my handicap at that point, or just under. Next hole, par four, hit a good drive, but it just snuck into a bunker. Snuck up right next to a tight, tight lip. Uh, had no choice but just to get out of the bunker, which I managed to do. But then I messed up my approach for three. It's my third shot, so I'm now greenside. I've chipped on like a 40 yard chip, which is only like six, six foot left of the pin, but just in the fringe. And I hit an aggressive putt to try and make a five, thinking, yeah, this is makeable. And it rolled probably 15 foot beyond the hole. Ooh. Made a two putt back from there for a seven. So I literally went eight, seven, dropped eight shots and two holes, then you're chasing. That's in your head now. 
and then you're thinking, right, don't mess up anymore. And then you're just trying to, if you don't, you know, if I was on the green in two or three, I'd end up three putting. So I'd have like two putts apart and I'd end up three putting for bogey. And then vice versa, you know, if you're on the green in three or four, you'd end up three putting, closing it up and just, oh. so it just all went a bit wrong. I'm only five shots off the pace. So all to play for, I'm excited. Time to go on the range. Uh, ooh. Potential leader. Third. Third place at the moment. Fourth place at the moment. Two of my very biggest rivals. And no more is that the case than today. Money. <laughs> Stu keeping himself in the game after a whole yes. mental night of mentalness. Let's how are you, you boys feeling today? It's really hot. I feel uh, crazy hot. I feel like it's going to be tough again today, really tough. But if I can shoot anywhere near my handicap, I think that'll probably do the job. What no. about you? Swing his line. <laughs> feeling fresh, yeah. We've got this, come on. Yeah. Although I need Carl to win because he's in my sweet state, so yeah. we'll be helping him and not Ollie and uh, you, Robin. You told Lee Irvine. Lee Irvine, no, well, he would have known by now if he'd heard, if he could hear, well, maybe they couldn't hear the uh, halfway leaderboard, but Carl is currently leading, which is a great shout, but these boys are only close behind. I'm only five shots behind Carl. That was only on two holes as well, wasn't it, for you? Yeah, well, I dropped eight shots in two holes. Um, Ollie is four shots behind? Three shots. Three shots. Three shots behind, and Stu's four shots, so can happen in the first hole. Be swapped instantly. It's exciting. It's going to be tough. It's going to be right. close. Yeah. Be Whoever can survive yeah. the heat, I think we'll, uh, we'll be in with a good shout. Completely agree. They that's have got buggies though, so that's mm. kind of a shot penalty. Step one. Mm. And there's another guy, look. This is like the four ball Dream team. vlog city. It is, isn't it? Yeah. In the get top five. Guys, four we? ball in the top five, and then you've got... Um, Carl Shoulders leading. Yeah, we'll have to do something about that. I'm sure things are afoot. <laughs> Robin wants it so badly. No, Robin doesn't care. Robin's a bit hungover. Robin pretends he doesn't care and got a little bit hungover so he can pretend he doesn't care, but he exactly. cares so much. I know, but I'm, hung I'm hungover so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're convincing nobody. Damn it. <laughs> I'm off to the patting green. See you. See you in a bit. Bye. I've spotted him, I've spotted him. Overnight leader, get back here. Lee wants to hear all about it, come on. Trying to ignore me. You saw me, you swine. How are you feeling, Carl? Not bad. Not bad. It's a bit hot. Bit hot, sure. You will indeed. Very good. Did you see that Lee predicted you as a wild card? No. On YouTube? No. Did. Lee Irvine said, I'll go for Wayne, but as a long shot, Carl. Where is Carl, by the way? Here he is. I have been playing quite a bit. Either. You've been playing lots, but just not with me, so no. maybe we need to arrange another vlog. That sounds good. Lee obviously wants to see it. I'm getting some singles match day practice. Unless you are Lee. Are you Lee? <laughs> Threw it out there. Are you excited for today? Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, it'd be decent. Any day we playing golf is good. Exactly. Until you get to the third and you've already skanked up your score. Mmm, five shots. I've got to make up on you. I'd um I'd have a camera on Scott today because he's going full attack mode apparently. <laughs> Drive everywhere. Picking up from the back. Yeah. He's like, he said he's okay. either gonna have wedges into greens or he's gonna lose a <laughs> hole. There's some other boys on a buggy lap. A few people gone for buggies today, cheats. Yup. I need to lose the weight, so it's all good. <laughs> Here we are, first tee, second day. Bit busier today, people watching. Buggies, Christopher Lawson, iron in hand. And he's off the tee. Down the middle. That'll do, mate. Take that. 
He's on over. No, he's not, mate. He's glass. He's fine. <laughs> I'll figure out how to play golf though today. I think someone else would be ready, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, on the tee, guys. On the tee. So he's going to drive every hole. This is a bit A. Driver in hand. 330 yards. Buggy currently in the way. Oh. Into the long grass. Are you going to be NRing on the first? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> what, left? Yeah. Most improved <laughs> player. Yeah, to the left, just head to the bunker. Oh no!
the second. Maybe he's laying up. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Back in the water. It's fine, it's fine. Nice strike. Stay there at bank. Uh, get over, get over. Perfect, Westy. Four. Oh, poor duck. <laughs> 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 yeah, I owe you my life. I will slaughter you and worship you. <laughs> He's probably gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I hope he flies off with the bloody thing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh well. Shots of the year. Tom. Class. Absolute class. Hello guys, thought I'd just uh, pipe up for a little um, update. We are walking up nine, ninth hole. Uh, been playing well until the last. Made a triple on a par four, got really unlucky, hit a bad tee shot, went out right, hit an approach back. Ball was right above my feet, didn't account enough for it. And the ball turned a bit left and went in the greenside bunker, but wedged itself right up against the edge. I could only come out sideways and I couldn't get in the bunker with it, so it was like a foot and a half beneath my feet. Got it out of the bunker, but it went in the long grass. Got back in the long grass, two putt. Got away with a six, so if that's worse today, then that's absolutely fine. 
Uh, but generally, I am five over, coming up the ninth in the fairway, long approach, but Tom Clark is playing brilliant. He's two over, playing off 20. He is in a great position. It's not all about brawn, is it, Rich? Seniors can still have it as he becomes a senior in a week. Tom Clark hit a lovely drive up here, he's left him 130 in on this very lengthy par four. But as I, oh, as I zoom in, there's Rich's ball. Bloody hell, must be 300 yards. Yes. Anyway, while we're here. He's gone green seeking. There somewhere. Just over the back. Just over the back. I think that's probably alright. I think I can... Into the stuff or? No, I think going into the long stuff. Yeah. Better safe than safe. Scott White. Eighth place, 80, Stuart Johnson. Joint fifth, all with 77. Myself, Chris Lawson, Carl Shoulders. Fourth place, no, joint third place with 75, Robin Hayes and Mike West. Second place with 74 with Alex Marsh. And winning today with a 69 is Mr. Thomas Clark. A great number. So, on to the overall. In last place with 185 is Mr. Jason Harville. Yes. 
161 and winning a Belfry Golf Towel, which I know he bought yesterday, uh, is Mike West. <laughs> In uh, fourth place, with 158, is myself. Uh, I'll just take these shoes. No. These are for me. Thank you, me. Uh, top three. 154, Carl Shoulders. Well done. Cheer up. Cheer up. Oh, Christ. <laughs> In second place, and it was actually a tie on the medal score. It's gone down to countback, and apparently in a medal on a countback, you do it in Stableford, which your handicaps in the play. Over the nine holes, it was still a tie. So then you go to the last six holes, and in second place, with 153, is Mr. Thomas Clark. And our winner, finally, at long last, Mr. Robin Hayes. Here you go, sir. It's yours as well. A broken thing there. <laughs> yeah, it sticks up to you. Thank you very much. Well done, mate. Cheers, brother. Brilliant. Um, who had Robin in the sweet snake? Very quick. Oh, you can use that for a new screen. And, uh, right. <laughs> and uh, the last prize, always do a little something to the person who has the highest scoring hole of the weekend. Mr. Pearson for the 17. Yes, sir. Well <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. That was the away day. Um, champion. Finally, the away day champion. Third time's a charm. I actually played two rounds. Played two, two whole rounds. Two whole rounds and I came out. Home. No, well, well done. <laughs> and now he's the champion. 
I've got a big handicap cut. Yeah, nice handicap cut for him. Mm. And then there's Stu. Ha! Uh, anything you'd like to say, Stuart? Um, I enjoyed my time. Uh, it was slightly disrupted by travel arrangements uh, coming up on a Saturday and sleep deprivation. And there might be a score of 17 on my car, but I survived. I had a par on the next hole. And I'd just like to add that the bunker that I was in was like a beach. Um, I didn't have my spade, all I had was a sand wedge, and I just couldn't get the ball out. And the person that used the bunker, this is going on a bit, the person that used this, my excuse is coming out, um, the person that used the bunker before me and put their footprints um, into the bunker, I would like to thank. Um, and yes, that's my rant over. I reckon it might have been Westy. An animal. <laughs> So there we go, it's been crazy hot this weekend. Um, I apologise again for not filming as much as I would have liked, but pace of play was an issue today. We had to get on with it. Um, and I just sort of blew up a bit myself, uh, even though I finished fourth overall, which was nice. Come fifth both days, finished fourth. Um, it's a genuine, really, it's sort of consistent in a way, but I was two over through seven holes, five over through eight, and then I just went on a run of stupid sevens. Literally went seven, four, seven, 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 three, seven. Like, what the hell is happening? So, just couldn't get it going, sadly, but it was a good day, nice to come fourth overall and win a belt because I really needed a belt so that is well handy um, but yeah thank you for watching Belfry is a fantastic resort drinks are expensive and they definitely whack the price of drinks up out on the course as well which is a little bit cheeky but supply and demand it's a real thing uh, thank you for watching like and subscribe Rob hates it when people say that. And uh, hopefully we'll get another vlog in soon. Hit the like button down here. <laughs> Cam's Hall isn't far away, which is round four. Back into it when this guy comes into his own. Fingers crossed. Currently leading the tour in the Stableford League. So we won't talk about today's winner. Forget this weekend. It's a whole different beast. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.